per the namesake, gets the final kill, and here we go again. The aggression, the balls to go for a maneuver like that. I really don't know who has that momentum now. It felt like Na'Vi really did awaken on that second half. FaZe, though, proved to themselves that it's not done. A little change up out of the defense here. Be interesting to see how far Rain gets. He's been having his troubles, he's been having his woes, but still looks to stand up tall. Maybe not anticipating this one. Carrigan reads the flash, turns it to perfection. A re-smoke on. Banana will maintain control, but upon the fade, maybe more to be done. Oh my god. I don't know if he knows. Perfecto. Looking right in him. It's Carrigan good for it. Simple immediate smackdown through the smoke. Four on four. A lot of utility drawn out from FaZe here. Finally, an aggressive maneuver to take some space. It might just walk straight into this one. Is bit staying stoic, not overstepping the line right now as the rest of his team work on space elsewhere. Rejig in this defense, twist back over towards the second letter of the alphabet. Joining Rain, who's perched up pretty. Info could be name of the game here for FaZe if they do want to test the limits dip their toe into the water, they'll know exactly where this fight's coming. If not, it's all on Twists of Rain to lock this one down. Yeah, they're staying so static. Distinct number advantage for Na'Vi. And they set their sights on the second letter of the alphabet. It's Rain again, who should have great success. First in the scope, hard to track. Twist combined for the double, but it ain't done yet. Electronic tasks with a one versus two clutch on the greatest of stages. And he's got one already, oh! but Brophy right behind. The Latvian holds fast. 26, that puts him on top of the table. Brokey, the very first from his nation to stand on a stage like this, an opponent like this. One round, the first of overtime goes phases way. Uh, definitely FaZe have refound themselves here, right? It was looking bleak for a while there. They were passive. They thought they were just going to walk this one across the line. But you can see Carrigan starting to look like himself. More aggressive maneuvers, getting stuck in, taking some fights, taking some liberties. Gets them the opener right there. Does get traded out, but sets FaZe up on the mantle of a four on four. But we're getting it real close now in some of these rounds. RV back into the bite. Back in with this banana aggression, all that util, the smoke to extinguish anything coming their way. Perfecto wow. this time round will just take all the space, all the control again. This wasn't noted last time round, so FaZe opting to set Rops and Brokey up for success. It's very well drilled. By taking all of that space immediately, FaZe are forced to start dumping. Hey, cheese. Defensive flashes. Twists. Buys time with Flame on the floor in mid. It's gonna test this. Wants to. Oh, Brokey! He's been waiting for it this whole oh! time! But Robs! 180 to the dome as Bit's gone. They look for answers in mid, but Boomich holds one. There should be a response in Brokey. FaZe have the advantage, but they don't have all the answers. And oh, Simple catches Robs on his adventures. Cut short. Up last, oh. Brokey disrespects the smoke and keeps FaZe hopes of a second on the CT side of overtime. It's simple and perfecto. No better pairing. 49 already. Just between the two of them. And it is simple to test those waters up again. Rain, the pre Leaves us right into the deadlock of a two-on-two, two and Carrigan not ready. Oh, oh, he was. Never mind. And Carrigan pulls 17. It's a thinking man's game. Is Counter Strike? Look to be the oldest player to win a major title. Carrigan steps up when the team needs him most. Flatline, simple, takes out Perfecto. And puts FaZe back into the winning ways here. Two more now required. This trading out of Brokey here, he's just all across the shop, trying to tr find all this space, he gets it. And look at this, Carrigan wasn't ready for it, but able to adjust, gets the kill ready for Perfecto, finds the frag. And Simple's frustrated with that one. This comeback for Na'Vi, maybe it was all for naught. 
enough money to buy again. The plant's been there. Run boost across mid here and delivery of the AWP. Neither shot connects. Valiant attempt. Final round of their defensive half of OT. And the stubborn Norwegian backed up. Flash to support and facilitate this. Is aggressive and yeah, punished. It's perfecto. The gift Navi a man advantage very early. Goes back to the tuck shop. Returns with plenty of goodies. Might get a rude shock here, right? Yeah, he may not be prepared for something this vicious. Straight away already. Completely nullified. What can he contribute to staring at a smoke and loads his mag? Nothing to report. And already it seems Navi have set themselves up for success. A bomb down and a spray heavy into the first defender, the first responder, a deeper smoke. Will rise, frustrations trying to solve this on the fly, a phase, a little bit of summing for twist. He thought he caught a glimmer of Na'Vi, but still five alive. What could Rob possibly do? You'd need something rather crazy and simple. He said no, this is it. There is one for Na'Vi, and Electronic makes it so, a triple to end it. Faze just throwing everything they could. See what sticks. A 2-1 division. 17 to 16. This is actually huge for Faze. Think about how few and far between the CT rounds can. The fact that they get two out of the three possible here on their CT side, we know how good these T rounds were, but the question is, have these teams been able to solve the puzzle of the T rounds? Now that has to be asked for Na'Vi, as they're going to flick on over. They're going to be on the defensive side. And FA is going to continue with the slow default spread. It's all so long ago right now. But if you missed it, it was just FaZe with these very slow crawls. Map control, buying their time, trying to target that arch side early. And then they had to change within the final few rounds of play. But that's where Na'Vi did come alive. It felt within the tail end of that first half, they had solved the puzzle. And that AWP of Simple was a key component. It's out here to play. that opening break. An orb for either side. The zoom bangers may very well clash. Simple thinks better of it. Ratchet from the CTs. Certainly has been the name of the game. A choke hold over Banana and the B-bomb site. Faze lay down the game plan. Change the state of play. 20 seconds on the smokes. What do they do? What do they build out of this? They're just crawling right behind the smokes and already simple caught off. Completely bamboozled. Only bit would need to do something really crazy. Because Faze, they have managed to put the 18th on the board, unless Boomich and Perfecto. have anything to contribute, it seems he does, boom. Takes down Carrigan, it's reading the play, but back turns and twists, spanks. Oh, he spotted him out, Rocks will close, we have our 18. Na'Vi up against the ropes, battered and bloody. It's a real turnaround from Carrigan here, he's up to 24 kills, the second highest for his team. This home stretch that they have been on, he has come alive, he has stepped up in a massive way. He didn't want to go down on a map like this. Inferno in a major grand final could not haunt him again. And he is showing us exactly why. Up and over, takes out the big man himself. Oh. Simple down the second on the electronic is perfect. And the third onto Bit, phenomenal stuff right here. Carrigan cracks it open. It looks like we might have cracked Na'Vi here as well. Pulling out all the stops. Chip damage, margin for error, zero for Na'Vi. Constant battle for this part of the map.
T side of phase was very potent. Navi know that all too well. Cancel his plans from the can. It's still coming. That's not enough to ward them off here. This could be the finish for phase. The 8 0 start. They want to do it right here, right now in OT number one. Their map choice. And it must have been hot under the collar after Navi showed just how powerful they are. There's doubt from Navi right now. They're not quite sure where this one's going to finish. Simple's just been called off. He was floating over the goat. He's been called to stomp on out, and it's just going to be on Bimich and Perfecto. They have to get this done. They need a multi kill. They need all the frags. Perfecto, good for it. Perfecto, he has held phase at the door, and it's Ray that tries to change the dialogue. 20 seconds. Where on earth? Can they find our way in? 15, as they really look to try to force the rotate. It's one man! They're in. Oh, that's the shot! There's a red that carpet into the A! Shot, I think this time, six, five, four, and the bomb goes down on the other side of the map. Now we have got so much to do. Three on three, bombs down. 40 seconds already ticking away here. They need to get a move on. They're all out of position, all rotating through the same corridor. Phase are set up to shut this one down. Take map one right here, right now. Rob's made this possible. Smoke to allow this gap to close. Bomb is half gone. Navi's hopes and dreams with it. A couple of kills is all they need. And there's one. Simple stubborn. Rob's beats his fate. And it's only broken to pull Phase across the line. 